Today is all about using the Warden Fireball at different town halls. Belgian is up here and he's got the level six Fireball. No Warden Eternal Tome. Okay, let's see here. Warden Fireball to start with eight healers. And some balloons and an E-Dragon to the top side here. Pulling some red air bombs. Only a couple of them. As the Z-Dragon can try to get some chains. As we got a Warden taking quite a bit of damage. He's healer. Oh, no, that's the Queen. <laughs> Never mind. It's not the it's not the Warden. He's going to Lightning the far right side. There's an Earthquake. What's going on here? Hang on. This Queen has a Frozen Air. You're going to Rage this Queen up. And the E-Dragon is going through the top side. There is the Warden off to the left side. As the Queen steps into this multi-target Inferno. And out comes... Oh, no. A lot of Witches. A lot of Witches here. We got a Poison Spell. Oh, my gosh. They're, pulling in some, they're putting in some Troll CCs. But this Poison Spell easily will take care of these Witches. No problem. But we do have a lot of go Skellies going over the Warden. That's okay. Gonna have to slow this enemy Queen down with the Frozen Arrow. Perfectly does just that. As we got a Baby Dragon off to the right. The Warden's continuing his way through. What is he going to Warden Fireball here? As that ground expo is now locked on to his warden. King is now going to try to make his way into the eagle artillery. The queen's continuing her charge right through towards the town hall. The warden stepping in. Going straight for the multi. Perfect. Hopefully the ice golems and king does not lure this warden just yet. You want to take that multi down. A couple sneaky goblins went on in. And he pops the warden ability. Goes to that ground expo there. Doesn't take it down. As a blimp is coming from the top side. He's going to do an invis. And the blimp makes it all the way to the town hall here. With yetis. Drop your Royal Champion. Just upgrade to Town 13. Drop the Royal Champ now. Go! Belgian! As the Yetis have cleared the Town Hall, now you gotta make his way all the way around. He's up to the King ability. Hopefully the King and Queen split different directions because otherwise time is an issue here. Going for a wall. Gets through it. King wants to go for his own wall. Doesn't have a giant arrow on the Queen. So we can't clean up here. As he's making his way up and around, slowly but surely, he has to come all the way back around here to that Tesla. Down to pop King ability to speed his way through. This is not an open wall, so he's going to have to get through that wall. Or he hopes the Yeti Mites die and they go for the multi-target Inferno. Maybe, like, make that air defense invisible so the Yeti Mites don't go for it. Make that air defense invisible so the Yeti Mites don't go for it. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, or see, that's one Yeti Mite that's going for it. Now the Yeti Mites will go for this multi target Inferno. That's going to help. As he was walking around, come on, Yeti Mites, go and jump the wall. Or the Warden may just jump the wall and help. Nope, the Warden's just ignoring it. Classic Warden. Come on, Yeti Mites, take out that multi target Inferno. Make the Warden invisible so that he's. Oh, rip. Out. So they, the troops are now raged up from the Warden's rage gem, so they speed up through the section. You still have those two haste. Come on, Yeti Mites. Freezing up. No, the Ice Golem's actually stopping you from taking the multi down. No. Eight seconds. Makes the Queen invisible. Five, four, three, two, one. Ah, no. Rip the Tesla. Fatal is up here at Town Hall 14. And Fatal's got the level 11 fireball. Okay, Fatal. As we got that Warden down to the bottom side. We got a couple of balloons. He's got some rocket loons as well. He's got invisits. He's got a bath spell. He's got a recall spell. We've got rocket loons coming from the top side. And a baby dragon up there as well. More balloons under that wizard tower. He's got a flame flinger. Is he going to recall this Warden here? How is he going to break this base down? The air defense does go down up top. What are you going to Warden Fireball here? And the reason why he doesn't have an Eternal Tome is because if you pop an early Warden ability, it's not... Oh, he's going to send RC. Oh, Fireball, Fireball, Fireball. Hits. Oh, the RC takes out the multi with the RC shield. So you can then send a Flame Flinger for the Town Hall. Aha, look at that. That is not easy to do. To invis, invis, RC ability, recall, boom, boom, boom. Warden Fireball. Wow, that's impressive. Well done. And Super Dragon's coming in from the top side into the defensive king. His king's coming off to the right side. Queen's gonna make her way towards this scatter shot slowly but surely. That flame flinger is gonna work through that town hall. Rages up the super dragon to get that super medals, right? You know? You got super dragon. But unfortunately, the healers are getting hit here. You're gonna have to freeze up the scatter. Nope, no, the sweeper actually protected the healers, pushing them out of range. 
and there's Rakuloons to go straight into the scatter shot to help pick that off as he lures out a super dragon from this clan castle as he has taken out the scatter here continuing his way through the queen and a balloon who's filling up these clan castles who put the balloon inside the cc as he burns the queen ability has a puppet and an ice hound that comes out from the left side going across there's the warden and royal champion now coming in together and he's got to drop a minion off to the cannon over there. He drops a bat spell over the top of the Royal Champ. As the Ice Hound is providing a distraction here for the Scatter Shot. And the Royal Champion is taking damage from the Ground Expo here. He does not have the RC ability anymore. I would... Oh, he didn't see that cannon over there. So he's going to have to run his way all the way through. The Ice Hound did pop. The RC is trying to stay alive here. But she might die off here to the Builder Hut. She does. The Queen is still working through this multi. Kills the RC. The problem is he doesn't have any minion over to the cannon. No one will spot him. Oh, no. Queen. The build, the cannon stays up. He can't reach the scatter shot without going through another wall. And he's going to time fail this one. He does have that Warren Rage. Ah, oh, rip the far right side cannon with 10 seconds left. The Warden dies one shot to that scatter shot there. Very nice try using the Warden Fireball RC Shield to skip across. And it's a time fail. Let me draw my plan out. So I'm going to do a Warden Walk down here. He's going to Warden Walk into the Monolith. I'm going to Rocket Loon here, Rocket Loon here. Um, and then I'm going to like uh, Invis, Invis, Invis. So that the Warden ability will hit the Town Hall. And then the Warden, the ability will take out this, 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 that, this clan castle, that. Um, and I'm going to go two Earthquakes because the Builders will probably repair this in time or something. And the Warden will just rage through here and grab the Monolith. The Town Hall will stay up. And then we'll just either have the attack start going this way. And then we can send a few extra either Rock Loons into here to grab it. Or we just drop the Royal Champion to grab it and she runs around. Or we just come all the way back around for the town. Or we just have the Warden just continue his walk and grab the town hall. Warden. Okay. Okay, let's take you out. I'm going to save some Rockaloons if I don't have to use them. I'm going to drop one Rockaloon. Actually, no. I think I got to place them here. All right. So I got to go... Uh... We gotta go here, here. We gotta go here, here. Okay, got it. Okay, Warden, I want you to go for the town hall. So the singles didn't go down. That's fine. Let's just drop a rocket loon to go here. Test for some traps. Okay, I want the Warden. Go for the town hall. Okay, got it. Okay. All right, move through. All right, let's continue, my friends. Let's move on through. All right. Let's go. Um, that ability. It's not going down, so we'll just send the RC into here. We've got you. Freeze that up. Drop some wizards. Drop a wizard there. Wall break that. Pop the RC ability. Speed you up. Okay. And we're good. There we go. No Tesla's down there. So we directly targeted the town hall. And we got it. Let's clean up with the art. Queen arrow. That's it. It's a three. The max fireball is so nice. At Town Hall 16. Oh, baby. It's so much fun. Okay. 
It's a queen charge, super minor attack. With that queen to the top side. Baby dragon as well. Let's see here. Healers are down. Does not have a recall on this queen. Does have the frozen arrow. This queen's taking a lot of damage. Gonna have to go with a freeze. Drop the skeleton spell as well. Poison spell is not getting launched. Just yet. Queen's about to be stepping into range. A super minions and an electro titan comes out of the CC. Drops a poison spell. Super minions hitting the ground skeleton. Rages this queen up yet again. Oh no, that's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. The head on her. The electro titan. The queen is trying to stay alive. He drops the rune rider into the grand warden altar. Sends the king and a siege barracks off to the far right side. And super miners coming in. The queen needs to step her way into the town hall. Keeping her alive here. But the air defense is picking off these healers one by one. Unfortunately, he already popped that RC ability. Oh, no. I think he popped it early to get hogs. Which means that the RC w won't be able to use it on the backside as the king ability goes off. The warden can use his ability and the healing tome to really try to protect the miners into the core. As he pops the ability now, heals up some of the miners. Hogs coming out of the siege barracks with an apprentice warden over there. That's actually pretty clutch. As he's trying to make his way into the core near all these Teslas. The Eagle Artillery is doing a lot of damage. Double Pekka's are on the bottom side. They're moving their way through. The RC has died off, but we do have Super Miners continuing their way in. Healers trying to move off to them, and healers all die. King is stuck on a wall. Oh, no, Royal Champion's actually still alive. There she is in the core of this. Super Miners, remember, when a Super Miner dies, it does an explosion, which you never know. It can help take out ground skeletons, all the splash that are in an area. As he's continuing around with an RC ability of a haste and... A seeking shield and is looking pretty good here with a queen charge. Super miners. Well done. And he's got the shield on the RC to skip across here. And the final four defenses. The king keeps ta getting targeted by the eagle artillery. And Kyle is going down. GG Fenner. And he pops the RC ability. Skips. Takes these buildings down. Eagle is gone. And it's a three-star for Team Carbon Finn. Let's go, Fenner. Great attack. Fatal is up. And Fatal has got himself nine rocket loons and 14 headhunters. Hmm. He pulls out that clan castle very early and easily. And right away, a Seeking Air Mine to the healer's face. Loses one, sends Rocket Loons to go and snipe that single target in front of him. Very nice use of Rocket Loons to take that down. Great identification there. He does also have an Overgrowth. Wait, did he place it? Oh, he did! He's going to Overgrowth Trick to try to get the logs to then move its way. And it's not able to move and skip into the multi. There you go. Now it can. So he's overgrowthing, tricking the logs to then help try to take out the multi-target Inferno and the monolith here. Oh, I see. So he's stalling up the log launcher. So it won't move. And now it will move and open up, but it doesn't get the monolith. It just gets the multi. We have a super miners coming out of that. And the queen is going to make her way in towards that air expo. But the monolith is getting healed back up, so he can't take the monolith down anymore. And this spell goes off. The queen can reach the town hall if he funnels properly. He does have an invis for the queen. Maybe burn the king ability here, but you really don't want to burn king ability too early if you don't have to. As you got to make this an invis. You got to make this invis to get the queen to go back up. Oh, 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 she does anyways. Okay, never mind. He's going to raise the queen. You got to freeze the invisibility spell on the backside near that town hall, and he does just that. As the king ability goes off, he makes the queen invisible. Does she go for and finish the town hall off? Yes, she does. Just in time as we got healers down with the Grand Warden and the Royal Champion to the far left side. The king is trying to move that section. And he does just that as a boatload of headhunters take out the enemy queen. Pops the warden ability to protect these headhunters. Moving his way through that queen's ability's force as she continues down the alley into the core of the space. Getting fantastic value here as he drops... Earthquakes, Rockaloons to come to the bottom side. Headhunters are continuing their way through. The RC is going to have to burn her ability. And she's going to haste her way around this base. As the Queen takes out the Expo, going to take out the Eagle. The RC is going to make her way to the top side. And my friends, this is looking good here for a three-star from Fatal. Look at that. Finish off these air skellies. Tanking out this scatter shot. 
and that my friends is a triple the rc is gonna get spun around but that won't matter it's a matter of just clean up now g and g look at that queen charging some rocket loons headhunters gg not a spam attack here from mr fatal as the healers pull a little bit more traps but that won't matter because he finishes this one off and takes down base number five in the match with that queen charge headhunt the plan on number two here is to use a max warden fireball level 27 to get some value we're going to start off with a warden walk down here and we're right around this area we want to charge the warden well maybe down here we'll see so he can grab this air defense he can grab all of this then we'll rocket loon this we'll rocket loon that we'll rocket loon this we'll uh yeah probably rocket loon that and then we can go with we want to have our uh warden ability hit the poison spell tower so it could take out this building the clan castle the multi-arch towers ricochet cannon the uh multi here the eagle the ricochet cannon there and whatever else it, can it reach the multi one two three four five six yeah it can so it can even take out this multi so i could take out this whole core here with the warden fireball okay i need two earthquakes in the core so that means i will have to invis one invis here what do i have to do i have to do one invis two invis uh three invis I have to rocket loon this and then four invis. Oh, and then I are, and then five invis. I have to invis the eagle so I can hit the poison. There's probably going to be Teslas right here, but I have to get the warden ability off before they activate. Um, and then I hit that poison spell, take all that out. And then I just start my queen going this way. King over here. He goes like this and we move our way around through up and around. RC comes on the back end. That's the plan. All right, Warren's on ground. Drop the healers. All right. Rocket loon. Chest is pop. Rocket loon there. Rocket loon there. Okay. Nato trap. Oh, good. We didn't pull out the CC. Good, good, good. All right. Rocket loon there. Okay, good. Okay, so now we gotta get this right. Okay, ready? Okay, warden's going. All right, we gotta go. Boom, boom. I go. Boom, 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 boom. There we go. Okay. Okay, move our way in, take that down. Okay. Let's send the RC down here. Oh, Queen's coming back around, okay. Make you invisible. Freeze that, not seeing ability, Headhunter. Take that down, raid you up. Raise up the RC. Oh, the RC burns ability. Take you down. Take out the queen. Go Valkyries, go. Wall break the backside over here. RC's dying. Need to drop a wizard down here. Run! Run, run, run! We got the queen ability with the giant arrow for cleanup if need be. And I think we're good. Let's go. Look at those P.E.K.K.A.s. The fireball OP. Let's go. It works. Oh my, we lined it up. Drop a balloon. What can we use with the clean? Queen, clean it up. Clean it up. Yeah, there we go. I love using the arrow to clean up. And Kev goes down. The fireball's value is OP in the core. All maxed out.